Kirk Davis at Green River College, SBDC. I'm here with Damon and Melissa. They're the new owners of Rusty Raven, an art gallery. And uh, tell us about what you're doing here. I want to show everybody the outside. They're right next to Wild Wheat and to Salon Abani. And so these are your neighbors, new neighbors. So fresh coat of paint here. Oh um, yeah. So not stand too close. <laughs> So we're opening, I, in fact, we know the date, July 10th. Yeah, we're shooting for a soft opening, um, July 10th for Cornucopia Days. Great. Right down the... Yeah, so you'll see him on Cornucopia Days. Yeah, um, we probably won't have a full store by then, but, but uh, we'll be out here in the street handing out business cards at least. And I didn't mention your friend. This is Lulu. Hi, Lulu. <laughs> so we're so cute. Today. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, we well, saw the pictures of Taylor. So, yeah. yeah, come on in and show us what you what you got inside. Yeah, so this is this is our this is our new adventure. Yes, well, welcome to a new entrepreneurial adventure here in downtown Kent, right on First Avenue. Here we so, are. We're shooting to be open in about three weeks, and we've got about three months worth of work left to do. <laughs> there we so go. Um, so it's intense. Yeah. And here I am slowing you down. So we're busy. Yeah. Yes, um, I'm going to show them around just a yeah, little bit. Yeah. Thanks to um, a lot of our good friends, it's going quicker than it would have. Oh, so you're getting some nice help from some friends. Very good help. Yeah, yes. Painting parties. <laughs> painting parties and everything nice and white. Yeah. So now we're calling it an art gallery, but give us, tell us the vision of what it is. Well, um, I guess back to the start, you know, Melissa and I both, uh, one thing that's never changed for us is that we, we like to make things. That's, those, are, those are the things that wake us up in the morning, um, thoughts about what we want to do next. And, um, how great would it be if that can be our Now, you guys actually uh, rented a shop. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> see? So what kind of things have you made, and what, what kind of art have you done? Um, we've done, over the years, um, it's kind of been a, a weekend passion more than anything else. Yeah, so, um, has to be necessarily, yeah. yeah. yeah but, but that's kind of the whole reason for, for doing this is so that we can do what we want to do and hopefully. So you you make uh, not it's not just like the paintings and art, but you make you make things out of things. Yeah. Here comes the train. So what kind of things do you make? Well, when you walk in, um, look like yeah. walls. Yeah. Full of artwork. Okay. Um, probably less paintings than you. Ooh, that's what I was intrigued with, is that you're shaping wood, you're shaping metal. Back together and have pretty things. Yeah. <laughs> that's what you can expect, yeah. Pretty things. And in addition to that, I um, might um, kind of leap into the furniture area a little bit. Yeah. Probably not making a couch, but maybe a coffee table. Yeah, they, they kind of want to make it a place you can stay and sit down and visit and... And I want to let you get familiar, even though it's not finished yet, I want you to kind of get familiar with it and yeah. and meet Damon and Melissa and, and Lulu. We're also going to be offering consignment for local artists. Okay. So we have a few lined up already. So, so you guys are friends, you know, it's a friendly place for local artists to come and do things on consignment. And yeah. yeah, well, we're, we're happy to show off our own things. We want to have a variety as well. <laughs> That's wonderful. Keep it fresh in here. I think it's... Too, yeah, so... Well, that's what makes it fun is you never know quite what to expect because this is truly a creative effort, you know. And uh, it's fun. Also, have an idea, then I'll, I'll, I'll tweak it a little bit and then show. Uh, so you guys are just totally come with something now. together. This week we're making jewelry. <laughs> that's so fun. We find out each other a lot. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people ask what's it gonna what's it gonna be like in here. I've got a vision for what it'll be like that first day. You know, I, I just have to mention that I loved having both of you in my class. You know, we teach a class on entrepreneurship and uh, to watch the lights come on and, want, and see you guys put the real plan and financial projections in place for this was really quite amazing. And then here we are today. Um, yeah, it was because of that class that we were here today. <laughs> wow, thank you. Um, yeah. yeah. Just to, to give you that. Um, well. I appreciate that, but I, I admire your courage. I mean, what you're doing here, I think you quit a job. To, he yeah. quit a job, and this is the real stuff, people. This is a real entrepreneur doing a real thing, quitting the job, coming and making this very real. 
But I, I want to thank both of you uh, just for what you're doing for our community. I think uh, locating here on First Avenue, being a part of the Kent Downtown Partnership and the part of the city of Kent and having this vision for bringing beautiful things, pretty things to downtown Kent. And uh, people, I don't think, really appreciate how challenging that is, how difficult that is. But um, you're doing it for real, and they can come down here and see it on July 10th is the day we open, Cornucopia Days, and then we expect you to come back and see all the new, fun, different, pretty things. Hey, guys, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you.